What's going on guys, it's Brandon Beck here again for another BFR today. Today we have Game 39 versus the Calgary Flames in Chicago. It was played at 6pm on January 8th. And the Hawks steal one here. Alex Stalock, incredible, steals one. Hawks go to 10-25-4 uh, as they win in overtime, 4-3. to three. Shots that are 47 to 25 Calgary. Hits were 22 to 21 Chicago. Faceoffs 35 to 30 Calgary. Chicago goes 0 for 1 in the power play. Chica uh, Calgary goes 2 for 3. Hawks were wearing the reverse retros. Kurashev Domi Reichel line has been discovered. That line was unbeatable throughout the night. Stalock saves 44 out of 47. Markstrom saves 8 out of 11. Before Vladar comes in to save 13 out of 14 in relief. That shows you what kind of a night it was for Calgary. Now let's start it off with the first, which because the Hawks just seem to Columbus and Anaheim win. So you know what Chicago needs to do? They just need to make sure they're just keeping up right with them to make sure they can't get that number one pick. Because the Bears did, and if Bears and Hawks do it in the same year, that's pretty sick. So in the first period, scramble in front of Markstrom, and at 17:21, it's a Chicago behind the legs goal. This goes from behind the legs. It's Lucas Reichel with his first ever NHL goal, his first of the season from Seth Jones and Kurashev to make it one nothing. Fantastic goal. Markstrom's down. He puts the puck in between his legs, throws it right over him. Fantastic goal. I'm so happy to finally be able to write down behind the legs goal on my paper. Then at 12:24, it's a Chicago penalty to Tyler Johnson for tripping. And at 11:11, it's a Calgary rebound power play wide open net goal from Elias Lindholm, 13th of the year from Toffoli and Anderson to tie it up at 1-1. Huberto shoots wide. Coleman hits the crossbar. Lafferty is denied. And then at 9:50. Uh, it's as Lafferty's denied on the rebound. It's another one-timer goal. From this time, it's Colin Blackwell, is his first of the season, first as a Blackhawk from Lafferty and Reese Johnson to make it two to one. Caleb Jones is then denied. Athanasiu is stopped. Toffoli sh uh, shoot is denied. Uh, Zadorov trips uh, Sini and there's no call. Kurashev's denied. Coleman is stopped, and we go to the second period. Where it opens up with 1925, Chicago two on one, wide open net once again. It's a goal from Philip Kurashev, fifth of the season from Lucas Reichel, who was in for one hell of a night, and Domi to make it 3 1. Reichel coming into this game had only one assist in his NHL career, and I believe it was 12 or 13, I think it was 13 games. He quadrupled that total, and that, that, that's two of the points. So Chicago's up 3 1, and Markstrom's out, Vladar's in, uh, in and. So yeah, I was surprised they pulled Markstrom out that early. Uh, but then at 1858, right after, it's a Chicago one-timer goal. They come right to back down the ice, and it's Jonathan Huberto, eighth of the season from Lucic to make it three to two. And um, then at, uh, Domi shoots wide, and Manjapani is stopped. There's a scramble in front of Vladar, and there's a scrum, which leads to St uh, Stone taking a swing at McCabe, and they start getting get into a tussle. And at 14:30, it's a Chicago and Calgary each get a penalty. McCabe and Stone get one, get some for fighting. And the reason the scrum happened is because there was a there was a like a whole thing in front of the net because the puck would nearly went in, and it actually did go in. But however, the referees called it off, saying the whistle blew, even though it didn't. So that puck was in, and they did call it a goal, even though it was a good goal. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see. It already happened. 10:29, Chicago penalty to Mitchell for delay of game, and yeah, Calgary makes him play uh, pay nine seconds later as they tie the game at 3-3. At 10:20, it's a Calgary power play goal from Nazem Kadri, 16th of the season from Lindholm into Foley, which makes it 3-2. Reichel is then denied. I, I was saying before this, uh, before the game ended, Reichel could have two goals and three assists tonight. He was incredible. Uh, Dubé levels Kurashev, and Domi goes after him. And at 4:16, it's a Chicago and and Calgary penalty for roughing. It's Dubé for Calgary, and then it's Domi for Chicago. Calgary gets the extra penalty. It's Dubé for boarding, which would be served by Lucic, which would be killed. You go to the third period, where Reese Johnson has a big hit on Coleman. Toffoli hits the post. Huberto is robbed twice. Reichel to Domi, one-timer is robbed. Reichel absolutely robbed. Then at 13:37, it's a Chicago a penalty to Seth Jones for kneeing, which would be killed. We go to overtime. We're a minute and four seconds in at 3.56. It's a Chicago goal from Max Domi, 12th of the season from Taze and Reichel to make it 4-3. to three. And it was a great move by Domi to get around um, Vladar. He was, Vladar was playing was also playing very well until that goal. And um, the Hawks win it 4-3 to three in overtime. They win two in a row. And now they have 10 wins. People question whether they could get 10 wins this year. And here they are at game 39 with 10 already. Would have helped if they didn't have all those two-goal comebacks early on in the season on that four-game win streak. That would have probably helped. But Reichel, what with a 
Maybe, maybe this is his, finally his mainstay in the NHL. Maybe I think they'll keep him at least until the trade deadline, keep him down in the minors once uh, we have some guys coming back because you don't want to ruin a kid's confidence and that sort of thing. But, but right now, what look watch, watching that game made me think. It made me excited for the future. It made me excited for seeing Reichel and Bedard possibly on a line together because Reichel has the talent. We saw that all in this game. This game was all about Reichel, and there's nothing else to it. Uh, changes in the standings. Arizona moves below San Jose. Um, Islanders move below Pittsburgh as Pittsburgh's now in the second wild card. And that's it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.